question a case of principle. Yeah. And principle is not just because I believe this is right or right. Mm -hmm. Principle is that this is a pen. It is here. Mm -hmm. Push it here, it's a pen. Push it there, it's a pen. Mm -hmm. All right? So, in one vein, poor girl, your sister, uh, Victoria Hammer, right, is caught on tape saying that, hey, who talk me, me need one million citizen. Me talk The intention is that hey, if I, me, I'm a poor girl, until I, I am able to make myself in politics, I wouldn't fight anybody. Look, you, you people went on this lady so much so. Some were even calling her that we should, we should probe her, uh, freeze her asset, and many more. Today we sit here. And the, the narrative is different. That's why I have, have a huge problem with the way we are discussing national issues. Now, <clears throat> you spoke about Hanadi, the issue you have raised about uh, my friend Wachie Jaku. My simple answer is that I wish that there is always primaries or by elections. Why? Because it is like it is only time that we get to know the truth about certain matters. Look, unlike you, I don't want to say that what Ajakun is saying is not true. I believe in what he's saying. Why? Right. Because he was the minister who was dismissed. Yes. And the reasons given at that time, whether you accepted it, whether you accepted it not or not, it's another matter. Mm -hmm. But to many Ghanaians, the reasons given for his removal were not they didn't think at all because of the issues that surrounded the Ameri matter this is a deal Ameri deal which was one of the focal points of MPP's campaign against John Mahama and then when you come to power the expectation was that you were going to cancel it how did it turn out the speculation that even the delegation that went to Dubai or wherever was sponsored by the same am Ameri. The net output was that the deal which you didn't like and you were, you were asked to go and cancel, you have extended it. Nobody then asked, how was it extended? Now, Boateng Yaku is telling you how the deal, when the government has set up his committee, somebody else also set up a committee and they also ran the deal. But he could be lying. Chief, <laughs> Chief, you know, it is not always the case that burden of proof lies on the person who is saying it's mm -hmm. not always the case. Mm -hmm. The burden sometimes shifts. Really? Yes. No, but the point I'm making is that the point I'm making is that, and the truth of, of the matter is that you are a lawyer as well. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying that, from my point of view, at this point, I'm not even. Uh, I wasn't even when I raised the issue. I wasn't even looking at who's speaking the truth and who's lying. Yes. My issue has to do. At least you've given the background, a summary of the background to these issues. And that is where my worry lies. I'm coming to that. Yes. I'm, uh, Dr. I'm, I'm yes. coming to that. Mm. <clears throat> How many directors of information and communication are in the, in the Flagstaff House? How many of them? I need to check. The last time you, you, you discussed it. Yeah, I need to check. Yes. I, just, I just don't want to. So that a presidential candidate who has once upon a time been a minister of energy, also, makes such an allegation of such magnitude and it does not concern anybody in the, the, the Flagstaff House. To even say what you are saying is not true. I don't want to go back to the ancient assume that silence means consent. Liking this to Dr. Frimpong Watkins, numerous allegations he leveled against individuals. And they say the OSP arrested him and what has happened. Look, what has happened? I call for proper investigation into the Ameri deal, the new one, how it was extended. And the persons involved because we cannot go, in, go on dissipating national resources and time like that. We cannot go on. And if you look at 
there are many deals. If you look at the uh, PN, PDS deal, if you look at the Tofumpon Bartis deal, it appears to be hovering around the same personalities. This is my worry. And as to, once upon a time, and one in his uh, case, he said somebody even had to virtually insult him in the presence of the president. And nothing happened. Why have you created a caste society in Ghana? That some people are untouchable and others we can rub shoulders with them. So in my view, I think the presidency owes Ghanaians a lot of explanations regarding the Ameri deal. And the facts revealed by whatever my friend Ajakun. You know, like you said, if it was me or my brother should making such allegations. It, it, it could be fair. But this is the presidential candidate capable of becoming the president of this country, making such allegations. And nobody cares about it. Nobody cares about it. Today in Ghana, the MPP communicators appear to have answers to every problem.